so I got my monthly dialysis supply delivery today and uh, I wanted to take a video for those of you wondering how much room in your house you actually need to have for uh, peritoneal dialysis supplies for about a month. It takes up a decent amount of room so uh, hopefully this video will help you understand uh, what to expect if uh, you're looking to do this um, at your house or if you have somebody or a loved one or somebody that is doing the uh, doing per peritoneal dialysis um, this will give you an idea of what to what to expect so right here you have well I have my cart in my bedroom that this holds my daily supplies and my cycler I have a Baxter Home Choice Pro uh, or Home Choice not a Pro just a Baxter Home Choice cycler and then I have a five gallon gas can for the fluid it drains a large garbage can for um, all the waste at the end of the day it's non biohazardous you don't have to have uh, biohazard waste or red bags it's there's nothing hazardous and then just optional I bought this air purifier for the room as well that takes up a decent amount of room so now we're down and where I keep my supplies and as you can see I get Baxter that's the company that does all my stuff but there are a couple different uh, dialysis companies supply wise um, this is a month's worth just about of supplies um, I have different cycle bags um, extra needle bags uh, manual bags um, these are my there's some cassettes in here. There's an open box here I can show you. The cassettes. These are like the tubing and the disposable part. I have mini caps for my catheter. Um, extensions. Drain bags. I mean, a little bit of everything. Different colors are the different strengths of the solutions use a different strength for more fluid to pull off or less fluid to pull off at a time like green yellow purple is the extra needle which is an icodextrin that's a different kind of dextrose so as you can see it takes up a decent amount of room um, you definitely want to have a space that's dry and uh, cool and uh a decent amount of room for all these supplies um another thing to keep in consideration too is um, a bathroom or a sink in comparison to where you're going to do your treatment because you'll need to wash your hands before connecting and disconnecting from your catheter when you're on your cycler or when you're doing your manual exchanges hopefully this video helped you gain a better understanding of what to expect as far as uh, storing your dialysis supplies for peritoneal dialysis and how much space you need um, if you have any questions or whatever or want to comment just go ahead and comment below and hopefully I earned your like on this video and please subscribe for future videos thanks and have a great day Thanks for watching. Please check out the newest video to your right or the suggested video to the left. And please click on the center icon to subscribe to the channel to be notified of all new videos coming in the future. Thanks and have a great day.